Hey everyone! Oh, ouch! Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daphne and I post brand new home decor and DIY content every week. So if that's something you like, don't forget to subscribe and join the Crafty Dust family. So in today's video, we're doing something very quarantine friendly, since here in Cyprus, we are in quarantine, just like many other countries all around the world at the moment. I thought of using materials I already have at home to create some decor pieces. Now, since all the shops are closed in Cyprus and don't even get me started on online shopping because it's either non-existent or you need to pay like 10 euros delivery fee, Leroy Merlin, that's for you. Um, thanks but no thanks this idea came as a result of my desperation but i'm actually very happy to do it because it was actually on my list and i'm very curious to see the result and if you have no idea what i'm talking about clearly you know what i'm talking about you clicked on the video but if you have no idea what i'm talking about i'm talking about comparing different painting techniques such as mixing household items like baking soda or baking powder with paint to give you a ceramic effect now, is this a new idea? No, actually it's not. It became very popular last year in 2020 through TikTok, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. And if you don't know what TikTok is, Welcome to the grown-up world. TikTok is a social media platform used to create short form videos, including DIY projects and DIY hacks. And one of these DIY hacks were four ceramic vases that look absolutely stunning. Now, am I late to the party? Yes. Do I mind partying alone? No. Now, I gotta be honest, I have tried this once before, only with baking powder, and the paint thickened up quite a bit. It did give a very nice faux ceramic effect, but maybe too thick, I would say. So I'm very curious to see what baking soda does, because from the research I've done, baking soda seems to be a better option. And I hope I have enough, because I've been baking quite a lot during quarantine. I also read on a blog that cornstarch can give a 3D effect if you heat it up. I have no idea what they mean by 3D effect, but it's a day of experimentation, so we're trying that one too. I also have a lot of questions, like how much of each household product are you supposed to add to your paint? How long does it take to thicken? Is the end result similar to one another? Is the painting experience similar to one another? Also, it's important to add that I will be using each paint mixture on glass, glass bottles I have kept whose shape I really like, just for the sake of consistency. So enough talk, let's start painting. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with this massive wine bottle. And for this one, I'm going to use baking soda. I wanna give it an earthy tone. So I've already opened and shaken my paint. This white paint is a white acrylic paint for wood. Uh, everything will be linked in the description box. And now I'm ready for baking soda. So I guess that was a teaspoon. Mm, okay, definitely needs a little bit more, but I can see it. I don't know, maybe a bit more. I think it's one of those things where you don't know where to stop because you don't know if you add more how it's going to turn out. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it is quite thick. But it applies very, very easily. So this is after the first coat. As you can see, it's quite thick. I wonder if it's going to last for the second coat. Still applying nicely. Okay, so that's the baking soda one. Let's try the baking powder now. So for our second mixture, I'm going to add the same white paint. Maybe a little bit of this green one I've used before. Just a dash. I think 
like I'm gonna add some blue, just a tiny bit. And now I'm ready to add baking powder. I'm going to add like half of what I added for baking soda. So I think I added maybe a tablespoon of baking soda. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. So it's already starting to thicken up. Should I add more? Okay, I'm gonna try it and if I need more, I'll add more later. So I'm gonna use this bottle. It was a cognac bottle. Look how cute, like a teardrop, sort of. So pretty. Yeah, I should definitely add more. I think I've added the same amount as baking soda so far. Definitely not adding more. Definitely thicker. I like it. I like it more than the first time I tried baking powder. It's not as thick. It's very similar to the baking soda. I really, really like the color. It's like a pastel green. Oh, it's starting to get thicker. I can see the grains from the baking powder. So while I'm waiting for this one to dry down a little bit for the second coat, guys, have a look at the baking soda. <laughs> what is this? It's like chalk. I guess that's what you want to achieve with this technique, <laughs> kind of like a chalk effect. But look guys how this one is also slowly thickening up more and more and I think it's a matter of time really. So obviously the longer you leave it, the more the baking powder or the baking soda reacts and obviously the thicker it gets. Oh, it's a lot more obvious now. Honestly, I don't know if I can tell a massive difference between baking powder and baking soda. So that was baking powder. Love it. Let's try cornstarch now. Okay, so apparently for this one, you need to add a cup of water and then a tablespoon of cornstarch and then put it in the microwave. I'm not sure about adding water. Maybe instead of water, I should just add the color straight away because my color is water-based, so there is water in the color. I don't want to put the paint in the microwave though. Definitely making a mistake here. I know it already, but I'm still gonna put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds Definitely a mistake And then oh oh Oh, it did thick. Oh my god, look at that. It's like jelly. Okay, it's working, sort of. Imagine if this is the best out of the three. And then it said repeat, like take it out of the microwave, stir it a little bit, and then put it back in the microwave for another 15 seconds. Oh my god, it's like jelly. I'm just gonna add the color now, so let's go back to the desk. I'm going to paint this wine bottle. So I'm going to add some white paint. I want to make this a, a light pink. The consistency is very strange. I wish I could explain it. It's definitely not like baking soda or baking powder. Obviously it's not grainy so it I don't think it's going to give a ceramic effect. Maybe it's going to add a 3D effect and I'm going to figure out what a 3D effect is. What? That is... Wow, I am... What? I can't believe this. It does give a ceramic effect. Is this the best out of the three so far? I think it is. I was really not expecting that. It's one of those things that you see on Google, but not a lot of people have done. So you're like, mm, there's probably a reason why it's not that popular. Honestly, I don't know why this is not 
as popular as baking soda. So far baking soda, well so far, I've tried all three techniques, but baking soda was the worst <laughs> for me. Also guys, please look at this. Don't you just want to swim in this? Guys, honestly, I, I am in awe. I was not expecting the cornstarch mixture. I'm so happy I left it for last because this was a huge surprise. And I have to say that this whole video is closing on a very, very, very good note. And it's actually closing with my favorite technique. This was not my intention. I, I honestly thought this was going to be a flop. I was not expecting that. When I was putting the mixture in the microwave, I was like, this is a mistake. I'm going to blow up the house. Right, okay, so I'm going to wait for everything to dry down and I'm going to show you guys the final result in three, two, one. <laughs> think about everything and collect my thoughts because we're going welcome to Cyprus so let's go ahead and sum everything up the baking soda one did apply very very smoothly but for me it got so thick after a while that it was impossible to use and I realized I should have applied a second coat but because it got so thick I would have to create another mixture and I was scared that I wouldn't create the same color and that I would ruin the vase so it is definitely something that you need to do at that point but I have to say I do like how it turned out I do like the color the ceramic effect is not that obvious but I do like it because you can actually see the grains and you can touch it and it's a little bit rough to the touch and I do like that, I do enjoy that. Now, the baking powder mixture, I absolutely love this color. It's like a pistachio color and I do love the bottle as well. I think it turned out very, very pretty. But again, the faux ceramic effect is not that obvious. It's just not as ceramic as I expected it to be, especially because I've done it before with baking powder. I think I was a little bit scared that I would add way too much and that it would get thick way too quick quickly and I wouldn't be able to use it which was the case for me the first time so I was very very cautious but let me put it this way both baking soda and baking powder the longer you leave them the more thick they get which makes sense but it's something to keep in mind that if you work with these ingredients you have to work with them at that point but yeah let's go to the final one the winner for me cornstarch I don't even know where to start with cornstarch. I am so impressed and so surprised it turned out the way it did because the ceramic effect is very obvious on this one. And it's so pretty. The color, the texture, and the biggest plus for me, this, it's still usable. The fact that you can keep it in a container, store it and use it after a while, after a month, a year, is the biggest plus. There is no waste absolutely. The effect is 
very obvious and very very pretty it applies very very smoothly the smoothest out of the three the only con i would say about it is that it doesn't dry down that quickly not as quickly as the other two so definitely something to keep in mind so yeah let me know which one your favorite was in the comment section down below and also if you've tried any of these techniques before i'm very curious to see which one worked out for you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post brand new home decor and diy content every week i hope more people learn about the cornstarch technique so please share it with your friends and family or those who you think would enjoy such diy and of course don't forget to like this video if you did like it and i hope you did like it and i will see you guys in the next one bye